What's up, peeps? Hope you're having a great weekend so far. This is Pete the, Peter the Greek 15, Fight Like a Goon Jr. So pretty much what this is, I'm not doing uh, any type of crystal opening yet. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to go through my champs. I've been playing this game for about a year. I had a great alliance that I was in in the past called the Knights of Gotham. I moved on, joined this alliance, MDMT. Great alliance here too. I learned a lot from Knights of Gotham. In my heart, I'll always be a knight. So I really wonder who I'm going to rank up next. So pretty much this video is for all MCOC YouTubers in the community to tell me what they think, if they can in the comments, what would be the best thing to rank up next. So up here above, so up to Dr. Voodoo, those are rank three and higher. So I don't really know which five star to upgrade next. I could do Gwenpool. I have uh, the rank up gem, which would put it to a three star. I've been playing this game since May of 2018. So, you know, I'd like everybody's feedback. Let me know what they think, who I should rank up. I'm going to go and show my roster and everything. What I've done up to now. These are four stars. Not trying to rank up any four stars, even though, you know, Aegon would be great. Thing would be great. I have Corvus 5 star. He's a rank 3, so I don't really care to rank up the 4 stars yet. Not until a good amount of my god tier above champs that I have get them to at least rank 4. Then eventually rank 5. It's hard to get those 5 star, the tier 5, I mean not 5 star, tier 5 basic crystals. I do my best to clear whatever I can. I'm... I've cleared chapter, I mean, act five one time. One and two are 100% in those chapters, so I'm working on three and four. Then as soon as I clear that 100%, then I'll work on Cavalier. I really want to get that. And FYI, everyone, once I become Cavalier, I'm just giving everyone a heads up. I'm going to do, like, I'm going to buy $300 worth of those crystals and just open them up and do a video on that so anyways let me know what you guys think i'll go back up to the top i'm just showing my roster what i've done a lot of this has done been with arena i got a lot of my four stars and three stars when i first started and guys believe it or not is even though arena's boring and everything it's key in this game to get gold characters you know it's kind of hard for me to do the four-star feature and five-star feature. I don't have enough five-stars and six-stars where I could get high enough to get those characters. Believe me, once I do, I'll probably grind in the arena like no tomorrow to try and get those newer characters. Like, I would have loved to get Neymar. I've seen videos from Seton and other people, and, man, this guy hits like a truck. Especially when you know how to use them and uses utilities. There's a lot of good champs nowadays. They keep coming out with all these new champs with great utility and everything. It's hard to keep up, but you know, you got to keep going at it. So that's it for this. I'm going to go back up to the top, show my five stars again slowly. But you know, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me everyone's opinion. What characters in your guys' eyes would be next to rank up? So we're going to start here and just go down slowly. I really want to get Havoc to rank 4. I don't have enough tier 2 alpha. It's hard to get that stuff too. I think I got maybe 2 formed. And I need like 3 or 4 I think. What is it? Let me see. Yeah, so I need two more, and then I need Tier 1 Alpha. That we could buy in the Glory Store. I'm not worried about getting Tier 1 Alphas. It's the T2. That's a pain in the ass. 
But once I do that, I'm for sure going to rank up Havoc to rank 4. So, guys, in the comments below, just give me your honest opinion and advice on who you think I should rank up. Thanks, guys. Have a safe weekend. Be careful and enjoy. Take care. I'm out.